Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine the means and standard deviations per factor as a sort of summary statistics uh, if you have for example a nominal and a scale variable. I will be needing some example data for that using R or specifically R Studio. We're using some example data for that so I'm first going to load that in and as you can see my data has three different locations Diemen, Haarlem and Rotterdam, three cities in the Netherlands and uh, people had different grades on this. A few missing values as well. Now the first option is to actually use the aggregate function or that comes in the stats package which usually is loaded by default um, and what you can do is actually do the aggregate my data uh, and then the grade by and then the factors or the, and the variable that defines the group and then fun in capitals length will determine the number of values in each uh, means can actually do um, uh, aggregate and then the whole same thing and fun equals mean will give me actually the means and SD will give me the standard deviations per category uh, I selected here then each time the second column and stored those in means and then I'm actually going to use CBind to actually merge all three. So let's do that. So if N, uh, I have means and uh, standard deviations. So as you can see, N is simply uh, for each location the, uh, the, the mean in this case or uh, sorry I'm showing the end uh, the count so there were 16 people in Demon, 19 in Haarlem and 13 in Rotterdam then the C bind actually combines all three into uh, one so my results is now looking like this um, let's change those headers as well you can use the column names of my result and then I add location as the factors then N mean and standard deviation or perhaps nicely with a little dot there so to show really that these are abbreviations Control enter and then finally my result nicely looks like uh, this table now you could also use for example t apply um, for example for the means that would go something like uh, the one shown here uh, very similar to the aggregate standard deviations as well and then you can use rbind because this actually goes by row and then it will look like this now there are a few packages that can do similar things uh, for example the do buy buy with a capital b uh, package uh, if you install that using this line which i've already done then you do need to load it so library do uh, buy and then summary buy uh, grade uh, which is uh, the scale variable and then the nominal variable the data is my data and then uh, the fun should be about the mean and the standard deviation and then uh, remove any uh, uh, non-applicable so missing values and then you nicely also get a very similar table as we constructed ourselves the psych package also has a similar function known as describe by and then my data uh, grade so first the scale variable and then the factors in my case the locations that will actually give you um, various rows uh, a lot more information the end the mean the standard deviation but also the median a trimmed mean I think mean average or median average deviation minimum maximum range skewness kurtosis and the standard error for each possible factor so um, this is quite a uh, this gives a lot more than we actually uh, wanted in this case but at least you get all your information that you want there might be other packages doing similar things but hope this video was helpful 